Hello everybody, how's it going today? So it's now November the 4th, it's Wednesday, and we're just going to do a quick cap of everything going on in the market today and my expectations for SXP, sorry, SXP, VET, and also Bitcoin. So check this out guys, everything came in today. I got the new microphone here, right, that you guys know about already, and I got the new LED ring that came in. And also a 2K resolution camera. And the speakers are just personal. These are these new edifiers I got. The R2000 DBs. I just wanted some bookshelves. So I got them. And um, you guys ready to see the quality? So this is before. Okay. This is before. And here's after now. And bam. How's the quality? It's pretty sick, isn't it? Yep. Pretty happy with the quality. I can't complain about this camera whatsoever or the LED ring. Hope you guys are enjoying it. This way you guys get to enjoy a lot more of me when I'm filming and when you're watching me. It's so dirty. You're watching me, guys. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Anyways, let's get, on the ch let's get on with this, guys. Pretty amazing quality. I wanted to have a very professional setup, no different than a streamer. If I'm going to be making you guys a lot of videos, I may as well make it top-notch quality. So, you know, when, when you spend money on something like this, it's definitely not for me, as you guys know already, right? I'm not benefiting from it. You guys are, though. Sure, I got nicer hardware and I'm producing higher quality videos, but the person, the people that ultimately get to enjoy it the most are you guys. So let's get on with this. Pretty cool trading rig so far, I gotta admit. All right, so now we're gonna be looking at BTC. Okay, we're gonna take a look at BTC very quickly and see where this is trending possibly. So right now we see this support line, this channel that's been there for a while now actually. I'll probably make it lower and consider some of the regions, uh, both trapped regions. So this was kind of expected if it were to rally to hit around there. So now we expected one of two things to happen. We expected it either to hit 12.4K and break down from the 4 hour 55 EMA, which was right there, or we were expecting for it to bounce and make a hit around the 14.1k top of the channel. And that's kind of exactly what we did. So it worked out pretty well, I have to admit. And I apologize if there's like an audio delay when I'm speaking, like it doesn't match up with the video, I mean, if there's only a few milliseconds of lag between the video and my voice. Um, I haven't really set it up yet. I just was really excited to make a video. And for the people that are asking, because I get a lot of people that are asking, what kind of monitor is this Philicon Crypto? This is the Samsung 49 inch ultra wide 32 by nine monitor. And that is, um, is a really good investment. You can buy two 27 inch monitors for 600 bucks. This is basically two 27 inch monitors in one. So, you know, but it's not really the best investment since it's um, like 1500 bucks because you can get two 27 inches for 600 bucks total, right? But you got, you got to admit that it, it's, it turns heads, like it really does. And I have like, for example, right to my right, I have an 85 inch TV. Yeah, I have, I have an 85 inch TV and the way that this place is set up now in my little loft, for the winter, when people come over, they don't ever compliment the TV. It's just the monitor that gets complimented. And it's such a beautiful monitor that people, um, they always praise it, put it that way. So I think it's a great investment. But then again, you know, it's, it's really expensive in my opinion, since you're paying for pretty much five 27 inch monitors is what you can buy. Yeah, you can buy five 25, 27 inch monitors for the price of this one monitor. But the main reason I got it is just because I wanted the top notch, um, top notch equipment for trading to feel good about it every day, right? So yeah. So anyways, no more about hardware. Don't get too excited. So we made a hit here, and we have to understand very clearly that on the weekly or on any time frame, right, that this high was breached already at four thirteen nine seventy, and this one here is at fourteen two fifty nine. And we also must make note of here. Okay, let's make note of here that we're now 
above the golden ratio zone, okay, and above the golden pocket range. And we're getting a higher high on the RSI as well. So we're actually very bullish on Bitcoin now. I thought we were not going to be bullish on Bitcoin because this was setting up for a drop to the downside. And the cool thing about Bitcoin right here is this, okay? So let me teach you guys something for those that don't know already. Man, I love the lighting. It is just amazing how, like, honestly, have you guys ever seen me have this high quality stuff before where the production was just like on point? Never. Right? This is just beautiful. Like, I can't even recognize this guy on the, on the, on the camera right now. He's a good looking dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, um, yeah, it's kind of weird that you guys get to see me in this much of detail here. A little creepy. Where's Luna at? Luna! She's not here. She'll come say hi to you guys soon. Okay, I, I gotta get her on camera more often. Actually, no, I want to get her. There. <laughs> oh, why are you so cranky today? What's wrong, Luna? Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Yeah! Yeah, you wanna sit with dad? Why are you so cranky today? She's so cranky, but then look, she's just licking me after. <laughs> she's probably the best dog in the world I've ever known. Yeah, and you wanna sit with daddy? You wanna sit with papa? Yeah. <laughs> She always does this, but she never bites. Oh, yeah, you're a cute girl. Yeah. Okay, anyways, guys, just want to show you Luna. She's my favorite doggo in the world. You guys haven't seen her in a while, eh? She's very shiny. Okay. You want to stay with me? You want to stay? You want to go back to your bed? Okay. Anyways, I just want to show you guys Luna. Okay, go do as you please. Be free. Be free. Bye, Luna. She's gonna go to the other side of the house. It's a pretty big house, so. Or a big place, rather. So she's gonna go to the other side of it now. I'm gonna take up about a fifth of it. Of course, I don't know what to do with the rest of it. It's a little bit too big for me. Anyways, let's get back into this, okay? So the cool thing, I'm gonna teach you guys something for those that don't know. The cool thing about this right here is that do you guys see Luna? She's um just chilling in my day bed now. See over there? In the background? I made a day bed just to kind of chill and relax a little bit. <laughs> okay, no more distractions, okay? So if you take a look at... Wow, I just ran outside to go let her out. She's got a lot of energy, that girl. Holy shit. She's got so much energy. So what was happening was we were seeing this steady down step. Okay? The steady one right there. And we thought it was going to go down to the negative side to for it to actually cross. Because this was looking like it was going to just cross over, right? But for the past three days, the bulls and the... Wow, I'm actually out of breath. It makes me realize how out of shape I am sometimes. Because I haven't really been running a lot anymore. So here for these three down steps, okay, we're getting it leveled off. Which means that the bulls are actually holding at a specific price point. Okay? Which means as well that if it levels off like that, it's usually going up. So despite us getting a lower low and a lower uh, and a high and a lower high, right? It's still very bullish because on the four hour, this right here on November the second, where it just kept bouncing off of it. One hammer bounce, two hammer bounce, another wick over there. It just didn't have the momentum to go down oops to go down quite yet okay so right now i think that bitcoin is still on a tear but i do believe that now i've kind of confirmed in my opinion that this is now the one two and now it's one two three four five three and that's a shady four and this is now making a five and then i break it down further by going to this specific wave only okay whatever the heck that is. So I'm saying to myself that if I go on like, for example, a daily, I say to myself, well, that just looks like it's a one, two, three, four and a five soon. So if that's making a one and that's a two, 
right? So now that looks like it's a one and a two in there already. That means that that could have been a three that's still being made right now. A three, and then we get a four, and then a five, which basically makes an ending fifth wave diagonal, a really crappy one. And that concludes the end of the third wave going to the upside. Do you know what I mean? Like an ending fifth wave diagonal? Kind of like that or whatever. Okay, and then we zoom out on it. We say to ourselves, okay, that could very well be the very last wave that finished. And this is the subways. This is originally like one ABC down here. So this must be a correction wave of one, two. And now this is basically subways one, two. And then now we're basically going three, whatever, right? Three's up there. Then four. And then I think that there's a five still. I think it's this four right here that's going to be the one that gets to 12.4k. That I think that's going to be a pretty deep correction. So based on what I'm seeing now, we're not quite at the cr place of like heavy correction yet because the four hour ended up bullishly going upwards, right? So I do believe that's a one, two, and I think that's a three, four, and there's still a five going up. If I had to make a prediction, okay? Like, damn guys, I don't like making predictions because I'm not really one of those people that like is good at making predictions long term. Short term I am. I don't think that this will get higher than 14,600 if we do get the very last wave to the upside. That's my opinion, 14,006-ish. Yeah, so Bitcoin right now, to summarize, the four hour rejection going down, which means that it, it rejected going down, right? So now we are positively going up, makes sense, which gives us a better wave count of basically uh, basically um, one two oh, I don't like doing it on there one two subway is one two and all of that is three and now there's a four actually sorry sorry what well, subway is one two and that's one two three four and a five right so that's one two three almost finishing three and a four coming down and then a five upwards so that's kind of my general thoughts of Bitcoin right now. We're 14.6-ish. VeChain is so interesting to me. Okay, VeChain broke out of here, which a lot of people don't even notice. It broke out of this channel thing that was forming. Some bull trap regions, some bear traps regions as well. But what's cool about this is it goes up, breaks above the resistance, comes right back down, shoots down with a wick, and then stays above it. I thought that was really interesting. I take a look at the, the what do you call it, the daily? <laughs> the daily and still down ticking. But what I like is that it's getting a higher low, okay? A higher low than the previous one. And what I really like about this is that the daily is about to close in two minutes. And we got ourselves a shit ton of volume. Alright, so the volume is just, congratulations, the day just closed with a really bullish candle. Let's go to um, VET. VET, it's a OPP, yeah. You know me. I'm just joking around this. Okay. I went to CoinMarketCap because I want to see the 24 hour volume. And it's really picked up. It's got up by about 20%, 17%. That's pretty big in my opinion. That's a lot of volume, guys. It's really starting to pick up here. Well, comparatively to the last week, one, two, three, four, five, six is six. After six days, it's the highest volume day because in the past six days, all we've been doing is dropping, really. So this volume is significant in my opinion. And we're, we are getting that bullishly diverging RSI now, like bullishly diverging, bullish, higher, low, higher, low all across the board. I love the volume here. Like, look at the volume, guys. It's just beautiful on, on VET here. It's starting to pick up. Good candles for price action as well. There might be one more wave down, but I don't. I can't foresee this dropping a lot more. The four hours about to cross over the MACD. I've been waiting for it all day. You guys know I'm in a position for this already, right? From my YouTube, from my Facebook. I, I traded live for you guys on Facebook and entered it right there on camera. That's why you guys gotta be following me on Facebook. 
I post a lot of goodies on there that you might not know about. That's my Facebook, Philicon Toto Crypto. And, um, and I, this one right there, I entered a trade in front of you guys. So I'm really starting to dig this coin right now. I mean, what, like 10 cent range is not really that difficult. I'm only in it for 10k, but like, you know, I'm in it from 93. So I'm at least a percent up or so. I'm okay with a 7% 7, 7 profit today. What do you guys think, huh? Not bad, right? It's, I'm so down. Yeah, I'm so fucking down to make that 7% profit. Like, I'm pretty confident about it. 4 hour MACD is just about to cross over. And the death cross is about to happen too. But that's a good thing from the video we reviewed before. That we could get an attempt to go back to the upside. So that's a big percentage gain. That's like 20%-ish. SXP is still... Oh, we got the doji! We got the doji! Woo! We got it, guys. Check it out. Check this out. That's the motherfucking doji that I wanted today. So that's the doji. Because this wick came here. So I thought to myself, like, on the red... On the day before, this red one. When the wick came out, I was like, we, it'd be kind of cool if that's a big rejection. Will the next day reject as much? If it does reject as much with a doji, game on. So now we are just excited about SXP. Like, you know, while well, I like, don't worry, it's only a 24 hour side for like, you know, since the 26th for like seven days now, eight days, you know, no biggie. So our side is starting to slowly go up. Look at the histogram. Oh, there's a curvature. Ooh, this is so exciting. You know what's really exciting when you trade, guys? Honestly, just making good trades. And you can't complain about the profit. Like, the profit's kind of nice too, right? When it comes. How do you guys feel? Like, some t I can't believe some of you guys have been following me and watching me on camera for three years. You guys are so creepy. <laughs> just joking around. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, like, SXP, like, it's just looking good. Like, really. This low right there. Okay, this one here, it gave it away. Remember my alerts? It was at 730. And then I put it at 720 as well. So, it's doing really good. I'm going to remove this guy now. So take a look at that low. Like it's not even that much higher, the low, but it just keeps getting higher, right? The RSI higher. Like RSI compared to here, this zone, compared to there, compared to there, it's just fucking getting higher. And we're ticking upwards on the four hour already there. So it's looking pretty good, I gotta say. So pretty bullish on both SXP and VET. I just want to give you guys my general thoughts for the night for these three coins and just kind of, I was excited to make a make a video because of the quality of this camera, which is like it honestly, it's kind of blowing me away how amazingly cool this quality of the camera is. So I'm like, yeah, Do you guys notice how pretty I am. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll talk to you guys later.